Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I'm the Marmoset, and welcome back to Animalia, where we have a plane has landed at our shiny new airport. Airport that is shiny and new. So, what are we going to be doing in this episode? Well, having put ourselves on a mass transit style for the international, we are going to put ourselves on a mass transit style for the local. What we want to be doing today is getting stuck in and putting in a metro system. But first, I want to put in a, a kind of basic start work on the light rail, as that very large jet hauls quite a hard right turn pretty soon after takeoff. One of the things I want to be looking at is one that we can put ourselves in a nice station in over here. Now we've got this road touching between the two. Now, one of the mods I've recently downloaded is for a sunken station. It has a two-way road going across the middle of it. So this seems like an ideal place to put it. So, first thing we do, however, need to do is move this elementary school slightly out of the way. And then, obviously, we need to double-check do we have any bus routes going across here. Yes, we do. Hopefully, we'll have to remember to fix that later. But in the short term, we will be deleting that road, grabbing our new underground station. We rotate it just a little bit, try and get it lined up. There we go. And doink. And that made everyone in this area quite happy because they've got a new station. So we were going to connect it up roadwise here and here. This lovely, nice, concrete lowered station gone in out here. So this is all high res residential. So let's get that painted back in. And then what we need to do is connect in the railway line. So I'm going to do it from this side because I want a nice smooth exit. So let's have you come out from here, get up to about there-ish, and then go underground. By 12 meters, no, the option is 12 meters or nothing. Alright, so let's go over there. So 12 meters underground, so that should give us a nice, smooth entranceway. And then we will bring this over, back here, and then... Small nudge, slope too short. Okay, so obviously we're not quite on the same height. Can I grab from there. Yes, I can. Just carry on from there. We just a little bit come out from here, and that should give us enough distance to connect. There we go. So that's got that connected up to our railway network, and now what we want to do is connect. To actually create a train route. So we will create a route that goes from there to our station here and then goes back again. Et voila. Interesting. Yep. Create new line. No, not on the road. So that will shuttle backwards and forwards. on our rail network. At some point it you know, dives into the tunnel and switches over, but there we go. Switches backwards and forwards on our rail network to connect these two up via a light rail system. Now this is not what we're doing in the long term. The long term is what we're doing is a metro system. Now recently installed in modwise I have a selection of platforms. The decent basic platform only comes, as you can see if I zoom in here, with one line. Okay. Well, I want more than that. I want to go to crossovers. There's two lines, six lines, cross of four, and going the other way. So this should enable me to lay out quite a decent set of metro connections. So where do we want to put our metro stations? Well, let's zoom all the way out. Basically, what I want to do is put a loop goes around all of here. So station at Ocelot Air, station on the Feather, one mole circle, one in uh, Otterways, one in the Avery, Federal Parks, Jellyfish Horace, Starfish Smile, and then loops back around to Oslo there. I also want to put a range it so that I can put in a line that goes up and down here. So this, there will be in some kind of interchange station up here, um, which I don't know whether it will have very much there nearby, but it will just be a station. So what I might do is drag that line down 
have it meet up here and then come out again. So it services this this industrial area here. We may also, the industrial demand is, extend this industrial area into here. So we need to start laying down our stations and then we need to start connecting them up. So first things first, let's have a look here. Do we have anything there? No, we don't. So apparently we've got a tiny little bit of industrial zoning, which we will quite rapidly get rid of. And low density commercial zoning that I can apparently fill in on these bits. Yep, yeah, generally happy with all that. Ah, there was something I was going to do. I was going to convert all of these roads into two lanes just to add a little bit more capacity to the traffic in this area. Just to make it just that little bit more easy to get back and forth. The other thing I was going to do is see if I could convert the thing over the top into a six lane so that they now have a full, just a little bit more options where about where they're going to be distributing and going from because we've got quite a few junctions on these new locations. So let's start with our first of our new metro stations. Now, I mentioned I want a vertical line going this way and a line going this way. So I want a cross platform. So let's put that in. Uh, let's stick it next to the taxi stands on that side so it's not in anyone's particular way. So let's do the, the rest of the lines. We've got a line that goes vertically down here. So we only want the simple station. And obviously, we are going to want to put it as close to our rest of our transport hub as possible. So what is this building? Pizza, the answer. All right. So why can we not put our... No, no, yes. Metro station. All right. So it's space already occupied by that underground bit of railway. Okay not the most useful because I want to be able to stick it in there. That's obviously a building of some importance. What are you? It's a police station. Okay. That's police station on the outside of the road, so it just gets a little bit more access, I suppose. Let's uh, move said police station away from the junction a little bit. Yes, you'll get happy and then immediately um, pleased again. Grab that and then stick that on that face there. Grand. So that's that one in and there's a point here, point next to our main hub and then we want to put a cross piece junction down here. So we want another cross piece junction and we will put it on the corner there. Right, let's put our tunnels in going this way. We are probably... Alright, so that's the higher one. We're probably going to end up having to duck under this bit of railway. Apparently we didn't duck enough. Let's uh, trim that back pretty much almost all the way to the station. And then we will grab a bit of road and find out just how deep we need to go to get under there. Okay, so we'll just put a small section in underneath and then we should be able to just go, go from there to there and it will connect. From there to there and then from here we go to here. Can I be bothered to make it neat and tidy or do I just want to... No, let's just have a straight kick like that. So let's put our first metro line in. So holding shift to make advantage of the extra mod I've got that lets me have multiple stations. Let's click there to there to here back again To there, can I find a path? All right, just double click and then click there. Grand. So we have a line, a green line that goes up and down. So that's the subway line. No, it's a train line. 
I'll leave that one unnamed for now. So this is our subway line, so Metro Line 1. Green line goes up and down between those two locations, connecting our bus transport hub to the beginnings of our metro network. So now we've got the up and downy bit done, what we need to be looking at is the circly bit. Yes, I'm full of technical information and wise phrases today. So there's no other interchanges going on here, so we just need to put in a simple connection. So is there... All right, that's a park. What do we have that's in our way here? That's a taxi depot. Okay, I can probably move that and stick it somewhere else. In fact, let's put it out over here because I don't really need a, the things that deploy the taxi. don't need to be actually near the airport. So there's my airport. There's a nice little plaza. These are... Offices, I think I zone these as over here. Yes, offices. Because I have the space. Can you walk? You can. That road does actually serve as a walkway, so you can walk all the way around to my airport. It's nice. It means I have to put an extra special dedicated thing in. Buses. Nice. Not many people on that one. So that's the... Ocelot Air Connect line. Okay, so let's see if we can't get our simple little station in right up against the airport. Done. Okay, so you're there. The next place we're going to is Starfish Smile. So let's grab our simple platform. And think about having a look at rearranging a lot of the bus routes in this area. Um, almost all the bus stops on the outer circle, so I, while it would be kind of interesting to put the bus, this on here, I mean, let's just double check. I mean, do it, oh, there are plenty of walkways and connections in this area, but none of these are traffic lights, so it would be yeah. Let's uh, stick it on the outside. In fact, let's put it pretty close to this bus stop, since there's obviously an awful lot of people already waiting there. Let's put it there. Okay, so we're going from Ocelot Air, we have a connection to Starfish Smile, and then that will come round and come into here. Do we want to put one, since we have the capability, in this area? Now, something I'm thinking about doing straight away is if I put a small spoke road, Can you unsnap for me? Just let me go free to about there or so. I should be able to put the metro station in there. Yeah, you'll be grumpy about the noise, but everyone else will be pretty happy when the line goes in. And then we will go to the button of parks and we will make sure that we have a pedestrian connection there so that this area or this end of the area is served by this. Now, do we have a bus stop? Let's put the bus stop just on the other side of the road, just to make things a little bit more spacious. So yeah, metro station, bus stop. So that then connects into people using Jeffish Horror should be able to get to this, and people should be using it. So we've got our next metro stations here, so that one's fine. Next one I said I wanted one was uh, on the south coast along here. So let's put one. What's this space already occupied by? The roads? The road, okay. Otherwise that would be a Getting one in there would have been an absolutely awesome place to put it, given the ridiculous number of people we've got trying to head into town on that bus route. What we'll do however is we will put one. Let's just double check we've got pedestrian crossings. We do indeed. Interesting actually, if I were to put it here, then that would mean I wouldn't have anyone walking in front of my traffic to get to that. So let's indeed put it there. Good, good, good. 
happy with that. Okay, so along it's the uh, this area. And then I would like one for the aviary. Then we're heading across town to the Ottaways. I will put one there next to... This is all taken up by specialist buildings, isn't it? Yep, put one there next to this transport hub. And then we're heading up to the Mole Circle. So something what I want to do here, actually, is while I'm also here, is I'm going to adjust the bus route here to reflect where I'm going to put this. So those are taxi ranks. Let's put it somewhere the buses are going to be able to reasonably easily pivot and or turn around. Let's put it there. Okay, so the other thing I'm going to do in this case is I'm going to switch back to bus routes and I am going to drag the green route so I want to make sure the green route stops outside there so around and through so I want you to grab from here stop on the other side before you go that way around then I want to grab so you service that section and then I want you to come back you service that section and then the green route and then I want you to come back And you serve it, and then you come out to that section, and then you want to make it go back. Yep. So this route now does a circuit, comes to here, does a circuit, comes to there, goes out, comes back, goes out, comes back, goes out, comes back. So it always just pivots and comes back and forth to this location over here. So it always, at some point or other, stops outside the metro station. So I am kind of tempted perhaps at looking about moving them all to the other side of the road, but I like the idea of it doing directly outside so they've got a nice stopping location. So that's that bit of the bus route done. That metro station here was next to a bus route. That metro station isn't next to a bus route, but it's so close it might as well be because there's two just down here. Bus route stops it here. So we're on bus routes, so I want to make sure that that line stops there. And this line stops there. And that purple line stops there. So I've got stops for all of the lines that go past that metro station are purple. Purple line also stops outside. Okay. That's the main bus station. That's good. Let's just connect the green line. We've got if I drag it from yeah okay have a stop there if I drag it from here yeah it can stop there so I've got stop outside for that connection connects up to district over here bus stops already connected up there bus stops connected down here bus stops connected here lots of bus stops connected over here We're just double checking it, make sure I can see if we can make sure that all of these routes at some point stop both sides of there. Well, and then they just dash down there. 
So they all of them connect up to Starfish Smile. So just drag that. So we've got a whole sequence of bus stops. So all of these routes for all the Starfish Shores come down to Starfish Smile and stop both times they're going past. You stop outside of that. So that's all properly connected up. So all of the bus routes now connect up to here. And if you're going to go all the way down there... Oh, looks like that's the end of this episode, ladies and gentlemen. So what we've done this time is we've added a overground train route to connect up these two opportunities, just to bring a few more tourists in down over here. We've added our metro stations. We've got a sequence of them around. They're all connected up to our bus routes. We've also tinkered a little bit with our bus routes. So what we've got now is the beginnings of a metro network. What's going to be fun now is driving this rail route, these rail lines under canals, under bridges, and under all sorts of other bits and pieces that are probably going to get in the way. Ah, just before the close of the episode, I've remembered where I was going to add an extra one, the feather. This just needs to be a simple one right in the middle of the district. There. And then we will also make it the requisite change. I put it on the wrong side. Whoops. Not what we wanted. Can we grab and be so kind as to move it to the other side of the road so that I can connect up a bus stop to nice and close to it. Let's just double check that our, yeah, our high density commercial has been repainted in. So yep, so that's all connected up. Let's take the bus routes in this area. That is the so the route that's running around there at the moment is the Turtle Tourist Track route. Now I'm not actually pleased with the idea of running that quite already long and busy route quite so long. So we are going to put a new bus line in. Just runs around here. Do we want it to pop out to anywhere else? Yeah, let's uh well, let's see what happens. If I drag it out to here, how far does it have to go? Yeah, it has to go far too far to turn around. There we go. So yeah, you wanted that back in there. So we've got a route that's dedicated to that one. So if we click on there, which bus line are you then? Standard blue, number 32, number 32, feather local. There we go. So now we know which one that is. Grand. Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I've been the Marmoset. This has been Animalia. This has been a Let's Play of Animalia, in which we've done the beginnings of putting in a much more prestigious transport network. Please remember to like and subscribe.